Hello and welcome to another episode. Uh, you may have seen over the last week or so an article in Car and Driver about Hyundai Ioniq 5s and EV6s in a, in a, in a NHTSA investigation over power loss. NHTSA is the, uh, the agency in America that looks after safety on uh, automobiles and they can compel um, suppliers to do recalls um, on various things. Basically, basically there, are, there are enough customer complaints to make it official and what was happening was issues with the integrated charging control unit, which is ICCU for short. Uh, this unit sits under the back seat in the EV6 and it cross converts all of the voltages. Um, so, for example, it takes 800 volts from your traction battery and down converts it to 12 volts for the rest of the systems in the car. So, you're steering your other systems and charging the 12 volt battery. And it also cross converts whilst you're charging, so from uh, an AC 240 volt, it up, up rates it to 800 volts and puts it in the traction battery. Or if it's DC, fast charging, whatever speed of DC or, or voltage, and converting from AC and DC, it does lots of things, so it's a very important device in the car. Um, and then this morning, Technically, Jeff posted a video and a link to a PDF with the official Kia response and what they're doing about it. Thanks, technically, Jeff, for posting that um, and for posting the link. It's, it's, at the moment, this campaign is only in North America, but I think it will go worldwide in the end and come to the EU and the UK. Um, on the screen, you'll see um, it's a voluntary service campaign, so Kia have volunteered to do this without having to be compelled to do it. So it's not a mandatory recall by, by NHTSA. And it says ICCU software upgrade or ICCU assembly and fuse replacement. Um, and if you go through this PDF, you will see it's got a little flow chart. So they take the vehicle in, uh, they do a, a scan for a DTC code. That's a, a diagnostic trouble code in simple language. And if it's got a stored one, it's, that is a code P1A9096. If yes, replace ICCU fuse and the ICCU assembly. If not, just do a software upgrade and then the vehicle's fixed. I think what the, the software upgrade does is uh, stops the voltage problem which causes the fuse to pop. So I, th I think this will definitely come to the UK and the EU and the rest of the world in, in the future. And uh, it, it will save us a lot of grief. It would be so nice if it, this was a, a proper over-the-air over update in the first place and they implemented them. It would save so much grief and having to take the car back. But yet again, yet another flipping recall. And mine's in there being fixed at the moment. Um, I did check with my dealer this morning in the UK and they didn't know anything about this yet. So... Uh, once I find out it's live in the UK, I'll, I'll let you know more. But uh, in the meantime, thanks Jeff for posting that video and letting everybody know. And uh, thank you for watching.